But I'm not going to talk about it right now. Why not? Because you're on camera? Uh, because you don't have any identification. Well, that's why I have a billing that, uh, to give you guys uh, credentials. You want to credential the media? I certainly do. For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit LRN.FM. Are you on the uh, the oversight committee yes. for the HHS? Yes. I have a question for you. Sure. Uh, wh what are you doing from your position of power, or what have you done to make sure that there's n never another Oath Keeper baby incident? Another what? Well, I'm talking about the DCYF a few yeah. years ago. They they took someone's baby partly for ideological reasons and listed his ideology as why they took the baby. Mm -hmm. He was part of an organization called Oath Keeper. Mm -hmm. Am I ringing bells now? Yeah. Uh, I'm part of the uh, subcommittee on uh, child abuse fatalities. But you oversee DHHS, right? Yes. Or partly. Yes. Again, I'm wondering what you have done, what you are going to do to make sure there's never another incident like that. We're going to meet at 11 o'clock, sit in on it and listen. I have to sit through the whole meeting to know what you're going to do about this. Are you uh, even going to talk about this during the meeting? Possibly. But I'm not going to talk about it right now. Why not? Because you're on camera? Uh, because you don't have any identification. Identification. Yeah. I need identification in order to run a camera. You need identification to tell me who you are and why you want to interview me. If you want, I can tell you and you can accuse me of lying or not. Uh, well, that's why I have a bill in that, uh, to give you guys uh, credentials. You want to credential the media? I certainly do. So that you give us permission to do our job? Uh, not permission. So that everybody knows who you are and can identify you. Well, I'm Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. It's pretty easy to tell if you've got a smartphone. Uh, but I think that's interesting that you want to control the media. No, I don't want to control the media. To, con to credential is to control. Uh, if you look at it that way, I just look at it as identifying so I know who I'm talking to. And how, who, who am I talking to, Mr. Future Censor? <laughs> I'm not a future censor. That's all. <laughs> So it's funny, I used to have what you might call media credentials. They were created by a private organization and donated to me. But uh, if I were wearing those, then I could be accused of having fake credentials because they weren't issued by the government. I mean, that's what people would probably say in many cases. So in a way, I feel like I lose whether I wear them or not. And of course, if there were government credentials, I would refuse to wear them. So what do you think should happen to someone if they try to be a reporter without a credentials? It's just an identification thing so you know who you're talking to, that's all. If, if you were Megyn Kelly, I would recognize you. If you were Bill O'Reilly, I'd recognize you. I don't recognize you. You should watch more YouTube. You <laughs> no, still haven't given me your name. I don't watch YouTube, believe me. So what do you think should happen to someone if they try to be a reporter without a credentials? It's just an identification thing so you know who you're talking to, that's all. If, if you were Megyn Kelly, I would recognize you. If you were Bill O'Reilly, I'd recognize you. I don't recognize you. You should watch more YouTube. You no. still haven't given me your name. I don't watch YouTube, believe me. So what would you say is the main difference between this idea of yours and a Star of David for reporters? I'm in a hurry. Are you on the oversight committee? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. I was for years. I see. Are you on the oversight committee? Yes. I have a question for you. Can you tell me what, if anything, you've done from your position of power to make sure there's never another Oath Keeper baby incident at, at DCYF? Do you remember what I'm talking about? I'd prefer not to answer. I am also a CASA. I work very hard on these issues. Quite frankly. Can you tell me something specific you've done to make sure that people aren't taking babies for their, their parents' ideology? They are not doing that. 
What did you say? We do have a fire. Yeah, so I guess she's been to every single DCYF interaction with every single parent. <laughs> so you guys, I take it, are taking advice from the MBTA? Is that correct? We got a presentation from Keolis on what they do. I mean, they're the ones that built the I-95 deadly kill tunnel. Why should you be taking advice from them? Where, where are you from? It's RidleyReport.com. It's like a poor man's TV station. It's a what? A poor man's TV station. And you didn't answer my question. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to lrn.fm. Feds don't want you to hear them.